know. Oh, this one's too dark. empty this is the one all right this one's empty what maybe this could work hey guys it's julia and this video is five ways to make makeup out of sidewalk chalk I decided to do this video because you guys really liked my video on five ways to make makeup out of crayons. And since Crayola also makes non-toxic sidewalk chalk, I decided why not try chalk too? If you're not already subscribed to my channel, make sure you subscribe right here and hit the little bell for notifications whenever I upload. And if you can get this video to 40,000 likes for DIY makeup products, that would be amazing. I'm also bringing back Snapchat shoutouts where I just shout out people in the comments. So leave a comment down below and you might potentially get shouted out on Snapchat. You can just screenshot the little icon right here to add me. Here are the winners for my 2 billion subscriber giveaway. I'm so sorry for the delay, but I hope you guys enjoy your prize. And don't worry if you didn't win because I will have another giveaway very soon. Now let's go ahead and get into the video. DIY number one, the gel eyeliner. So here's what you're gonna need to start with. So we're gonna take out the black or charcoal colored chalk and then we're gonna put it in a bag. Isn't this chalk kind of shaped like a crayon? And now we crush the chalk. Can't touch this. Do, 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 do. So once your chalk is smashed into dusty little pieces, we're gonna take these here items and then we're gonna pour it in a bowl, pour in some rubbing alcohol and some water and mix it all together, then add some coconut oil and then put it over a candle to melt it all down together. Bring drops, drop tops, coconut chalk in a hot pot. What? Once I had it melted down to its perfect consistency, I blew out the candle and poured it into an empty eyeliner jar. And that's it. Just put it in the fridge for about 30 minutes and then let it cool outside the fridge for another 30 minutes. All right, now let's try this out. So I'm gonna just swatch it. It's very pigmented and I'm gonna apply it to my eyes. So this eyeliner wasn't the best. I think the crayon eyeliner was much better, but it's still good for smudging underneath your waterline while the crayon eyeliner is really good for your actual waterline. Here's the finished product. Like I said, it looks good on the waterline, but I'd rather use it as a smudging liner. DIY number two, the lipstick. So here's what you're first gonna need. We're gonna take this pink crayon, put it in a bag and just hammer it till it's dusty pieces. Now we're gonna take these items, the same thing as before, and pour the dusty pieces into this little bowl. Take some petroleum jelly or Vaseline. A little bit of alcohol, a little bit of coconut oil, and then we're gonna melt it down over a candle. Whoa, pink just got like 50% more pigmented once I added heat. Just keep mixing over the candle. So you can use water rubbing alcohol to add some liquid to the mixture. Just be really careful if you use rubbing alcohol and then you put it over your flame because that stuff is flammable. And now we're gonna go ahead and pour it into our lipstick container, which got a little bit messy, but that's okay. And then we're gonna put it in the fridge for 30 minutes and then let it sit outside the fridge for another 30 minutes. And that's it. Now let's try the lipstick out. So I'm just gonna swatch it on my arm, turn it out very pigmented, just wiping my lipstick off to try it on. And it ended up being super pigmented on lips, but... It turned out okay. I decided I don't think I like this color though. Number three, our contour. So here's what you're gonna need for this. So we're gonna take the chalk and break it down into the right color consistency for the contour, whatever is best for your skin tone, and then hammer it up. Now we're gonna take the same items that we used before to create the right consistency, except I use shea butter this time. Stick to coconut oil, shea butter does not work very well. So for some reason, the oil decided to separate from the liquid. So we're gonna be adding some of this HD foundation powder and see if that brings it together. Luckily, the powder helped to bind the oils together so I was able to salvage the product. And then I put it in this little container and then we put it in the fridge for 30 minutes and then let it sit outside the fridge for another 30 minutes and that's it. Okay, now let's try the contour out. I know it doesn't look as pretty in the pan as the others, but it did work pretty well. 
Sorry, I had a little bit of contour already on there. It goes on pretty well. It's not the best for blending out, but if you're in a pinch and you have nothing else, I think it's pretty good. Number four, our concealer. So we're gonna take these items right here and pick out the right chalk colors for your skin tone and then crush them up in a bag. If you have a lot of pent up aggression, this DIY is perfect because you can just hammer it all out. Just keep hammering until you get a dust-like consistency, and then we're gonna take these items again and pour it into a bowl, take some alcohol, some water, some binding powder, and some coconut oil, and then we're gonna heat it up over a candle like the other three till it reaches the perfect consistency, and then we'll pour it in its container and let it sit in the fridge for 30 minutes, and then outside the fridge, the fridge for another 30 minutes. Sorry, I'm sick, guys. Okay, let's try this concealer out. It ended up being really good coverage and completely covered my pimple. It actually covered the pimple pretty well, but the consistency of this is a little bit more chunky and liquidy than I hoped it would be. So I feel like if I were to do it again, I would definitely blend out the chalk more and put a little less liquid. Our last and final one, the eyeshadow. Pick out whatever colors of chalk you want. I decided I wanted a rainbow eyeshadow palette, so I'm just gonna take them each into individual bags, and then we're gonna hammer them until they reach a chalk-like consistency. Sorry, my voice sounds so weird. I have like a cold right now, but I hope you guys understand. Okay, so we're gonna take these items. We're doing things a little bit differently with the eyeshadows. So we're gonna pour in the first color into the bowl and then a little bit of alcohol, a little bit of water and then some castor oil and some binding powder and we're gonna mix it together with no fire. And then we're gonna place it into the pan. And we're gonna do that for each color. It looks like mustard. And then we're gonna do that for each and every color. So again, we're gonna take it and put it in the fridge for 30 minutes and then let it sit outside the fridge for another 30 minutes so it can dry completely. And that's it. All right, let's try the eyeshadow out. It actually ended up being my favorite. So we're gonna test the pigmentation each on my hand. I know they don't look super pigmented with the first swipe, but they're extremely, extremely buildable. Now that I have another rainbow arm, here are the finished eyeshadows. And overall, I think they turned out really, really well for DIY pressed eyeshadows. I've never like seen anyone successfully make DIY pressed eyeshadows. Yes, they're a little chunky and there's gonna be quite a bit of fallout, but they are very buildable and blendable. And I think that's pretty important. So, what'd you think of the video? Did you enjoy it? Well, if you did, make sure you subscribe to my channel for more and hit the bell for the notifications. Let me know in the comments if you're gonna try any of these and if you do, definitely send me a picture on like Twitter or Instagram. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you missed my previous video, you can click here on the screen to watch it or link in my description to follow my social media. So I'll either see you in that video or my next video. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.